Today, we get a two-pack of lessons about paying attention for your turn. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today, we do have two lessons, both out of Houston, Texas. Palm pepper spray has recently reformulated for even more effect when you bless the deserving with the hot sauce. Palm is what I use between a harsh word and a gun and encourage everyone to do likewise. First one here, it's just after midnight. This dude's just kind of hanging around at a gas station at midnight. And when he sees a lady who is sitting in her car after gassing up and just sitting there, he is going to walk over to her car and point a handgun at her and demand that she get out of her car. And she is going to do that. It gets the door open and she is going to walk off. Now notice her, I think it's the guy that was in the car with her, is going to then come up and get a hold of the little station for paper towels and stuff like that and then kind of start pushing it towards the car like spilling out windshield cleaner stuff and then push it at him a little while before he drives off. I'm not sure exactly what he was doing doing that. We'll talk about that in the lessons. In our second one, armed robbery here, these couple guys come in and pull handguns. And as they do, they kind of, I think, maybe even brought in or grabbed that monitor. And now they're going to start robbing everyone. You can see there's one guy on the floor here. See the second guy is just kind of in the foreground standing around while our bad guys have two full-size handguns. And they're pointing them around at everyone. And then they're going to steal all the cash out of the registers. And then this guy here is grabbing guns as well. And you're going to see that in just a second. Uh, as we see him kind of headed off, but now look over in the top right and you can see what he's grabbing there as he is grabbing pistols out of their pistol rack. He stole a whole bunch of guns and all the cash out of the cash registers and these guys run off as well. Thankfully, no one was harmed in either. I'm going to continue to say it, Houston, what the heck is wrong with you? You're in Texas, for God's sake. You have constitutional carry, for God's sake. Why are more people not carrying good, sane, sober, moral people carrying there? Of course, when you see somebody doing something you, you would not expect someone to be doing at a gas station, pay attention. This guy is just dilly-dallying and hanging around at a gas station at midnight. That's a bad deal. Second thing here, don't sit at a gas pump. For golly sakes, friends, you've got to just recognize that gas stations are transitional spaces. You play four corners. We did a, a short on that on the Instagram. Go find it there in terms of, of making sure that you're paying attention in these environments. And then you just don't sit here on your phone. Now I get it, it looks to me like her significant other is inside the store or something like that. What I would recommend in that case is lock your doors and go inside. Lock your doors and go find them so that you're not sitting out here in this transitional space. Now, of course, she's not gonna have a whole lot of options here when he tries to bang open her door and gets the door open. Of course, please hear me, lock your stinking doors. Never, ever, ever leave the doors of your car unlocked when you are inside the vehicle. Secondarily, again, the order when we get in a vehicle is we get in, we lock the doors, we start the engine, we put the vehicle in drive or reverse, whichever one makes sense, then do anything else that we need to do to get ready to go in the vehicle and then go. And that is what gives us the space to do that. So the car should be running and in gear if you are in it. If not, it is a, a sitting duck like this on a very regular basis. Now, what is this guy doing with the, the uh, you know little towel dispenser and, and windshield washer thing? I have no idea. I don't know if he's trying to use that for cover and like try to get the guy to give up by he, he's not going to have a place to drive off or something. I don't know, but this just does not seem to be a very useful strategy to me. I, I, I mean... I get adapting and overcoming and using whatever is in your environment. And I think all that has a place and is viable and valuable, but this just feels stupid to me, quite frankly. And, and yes, should you have your own firearm on your person? Absolutely. Uh, you know, should you protect life with that firearm? Yes. Should you use environmental weapons if you have to? Absolutely. I just don't know what he was thinking here. I don't think it had really any place or any kind of, of you know, good outcomes that are going to come out of this. And again, I, you know, apparently they found that car like a month later. Now, when these guys come in and they're drawing guns, I, I will say, even as they draw the guns, again, I'm going to say this on the channel, I believe now at the end of 2022 that somebody walking in, especially with a hoodie up with a mask on their face, is something to pay attention to. It doesn't mean because they're wearing a mask that they are evil. I do know some people who have chosen to continue masking in public places, but they're very rare these days and they almost never cover their head as well as wear a mask. So, a hoodie on and a mask on is absolutely a red flag. A mask on at all, you know, in an otherwise healthy looking adult is probably one as well. Now, let's look for our counter ambush opportunities here. Is that you notice here the guy in the green shirt in the front? 
Notice that our perps are not paying attention to him at all right now. Now they do have full size handguns on, so that's a big deal. But if you notice, he hasn't turned away completely. So if you're gonna launch your counter ambush at this point, you better have a 1.0 second drawn first shot on the regular. And that's an expert standard that not too many can do on demand. So this would not be a great spot for most people, but would be the first opportunity if you had an expert's level of command. Next one here, you see him looking away. And now these guys have not only stacked up, they're looking completely away. They've showed you their ears. So now uh, the guy who is in the white shirt, if you have a 1.5 second draw to first shot, there's nothing he can do to beat you. The guy in the black hoodie, he has shown you his shoulder and the side of his head, which means a two second draw and first shot will beat him as well. So even better in that they've stacked each other for the guy that's on the right. Now, I don't know if he has a firearm on him and I'm saying not saying that if you're involved in someone else's armed robber, you have to draw a firearm, but these are the ghost signals if you want to counter ambush. Here, he has turned his back completely. So now really a two and a half second draw to first shot will do just fine here and he can't beat you back. But eventually he will come back to be seen and see what's going on here. So again, know your counter ambush visual cues if you are a concealed carrier so that you know how, if you know how fast you are and the only way to know that is to know it on a timer is to go and do this stuff. Now, I do want to note here as well that this guy is starting to steal guns and so he's stuffing everything inside of the bag. Well, that changes your timing needs as well because he doesn't have his handgun in his hand. It's actually, you can kind of see it tucked in the crook of his elbow there. That makes this an excellent time for a counter ambush should you choose to do that. Again, I, I can't see where the employees are, where he is, where his partner is, what the actual threats are from that. But I do want us to pay attention in the midst of an armed robbery because as a good, sane, sober, moral, prudent person, you may very well find a time to stop that armed robbery to end the threat much more quickly to you and yours without it continuing to be a deadly threat to you and yours. And I think that that's a moral good. In this case, okay, they stole a bunch of stuff, but recognize now, not stopping this, these felons got away with a whole bunch of guns as well as the money, and that is going to lead to furtherance of crimes, which is another reason that I think it is moral and good to stop this kind of thing. So, pay attention in your world. Carry your firearm. Do the smart things. Know what your ghost signals are in a counter ambush to cover your ass.